Hello everyone, my name is Namrata Basitkar and I'm a software engineer at Geeky Ants. So today's topic is React Native Vision Camera. So let's see what it is and how does it work. React Native Vision Camera is basically a package that allows any React Native app to access the camera and use it. It is built on top of Google Mo Mobile Vision API, which provides a wide range of features. Let's take detection, recognition, it is easy to use, and it, is it has a consistent interface. Some of the tasks which uh, we can perform include face detection. For example, let's take uh, Google Photos. So what Google Photos does is it uh, separates uh, pictures based on a particular person so that uh, it is in separate folders and it is easy to find. Over here, face detection comes into picture. Then there is QR code scanner, which is uh, nothing but if you want to make any transactions using any um, UPI payment apps and all, so over there. And then if you want to scan the menu in a restaurant where now the paper is not available, so over there, QR code scanner comes into play. Then there is logo detection, where the logo is being detected in the image, and then it will be returned. The next, it even supports video calls and then image labeling. So what it, in image labeling, what it does is it identifies that particular object and then categorizes it and labels it. And then there is text recognition where, for example, let's take Google Lens. So what does that do? It just scans through the whole thing. It detects where the text is present and it returns it as a string. Apart from this, there are many other features like uh, safe search recognition, where over there it uh, finds whether the uh, content is uh, uh, violent or not. And then there is uh, location detection, where uh, it finds that particular location, it detects it, and returns it. So there are many features along like this. The next is, uh, as a React Native developer, you might already be using a uh, package library known as React Native Camera. So let's go ahead and see what are the differences between React Native Camera and what uh, and React Native Vision Camera. So React Native Camera is a library that provides easy to use interface for capturing photos as well as videos. In React Native Vision Camera, the library uh, basically focuses on providing image uh, uh, image recognition and processing functionality too. In React Native Camera. It can only switch between the front and the back camera. Like even though there are many lenses, it won't be able to detect and you won't be able to switch to those lenses. But in uh, React Native Vision Camera, it can detect all the device uh, lenses available and you can even switch between them. Then in React Native Camera, you can see that it supports face detection, barcode scanning, uh, text recognition too. But in Vision Camera, these features go a long way uh, as the technology keeps getting advanced. So in uh, this, it performs tasks such as text recognition, face detection, landmark detection, um, a, a lot more than that. Then in React Native Camera, it has dependencies on Expo and React Native permission libraries. Whereas in React Native Vision Camera, it, it is completely dependent on React Native Camera library. Then React Native Camera, if you see, it kind of requires a linking between the native camera libraries in iOS as well as on Android. But if you see in React Native Vision Camera, it does not require any native linking. So let's go to the features of the main React Native Vision Camera and what all it provides. In uh, React Native Vision Camera, as usual, it, it, it provides photo capture, video capture, and then flipping device from back and front camera. But what is the most important thing in React Native Vision Camera is this, that is device filtering. In device filtering, what it does is, it, uh, uh, you can see it, uh, uh, may, there are many lenses. For example, ultra wide angle, wide angle, telephotic lens, and even like a combined virtual multi-camera. So over here, the device filtering option is available, which was not available in the previous React Native Camera. Then over here, there's one more, uh, important functionality, which is uh, format filtering. So what does format filtering do? It targets the FPS. Like if you want 30 FPS, 
60 FPS. And if you want a slow motion video, it can it uh, it goes up to 240 FPS. And it even provides like the best capture size, best matching aspect ratio, and a lot more. Then later, if you see, um, there's something called as zooming, which people use a lot, for example, to take any uh, far uh, pictures, like for, for example, the moon shot. So zooming using React Native Gesture Handler for the usage of our hands for the uh, touch, and then React Native Reanimated for the smooth animation flow. Then it even provides uh, smoothly switching between constituent ca camera devices. And then there is HDR mode, there's night mode, and there is flash for photo capture as well as flash for video capture. Then the last part is activating slash pausing the camera but keeping it warm. So what does this point say? For example, you're navigating between two or three or more screens in your phone. And that time, the camera part goes into background. And over there, what it does is it resumes. It doesn't terminate. So in this way, you can save the battery usage. Like it won't drain your battery usage. It will just be there in the background in a pause mode. So what happens in this is uh, resuming the whole app is better than restarting the whole app. So that is one of a very good feature too. Now let's go to the documentation part uh, by the React Native Vision Camera. So how do you get started with this? So you need to install uh, React Native Vision Camera through NPM. Like if you're using React Native, uh, you need to use this code. And if you're using export this code. And later, like after you install that, what do you do first? Like you need to get the permissions in your phone, for example, the uh, camera access, the microphone access. So over here, we are requesting the permissions. After getting the permissions, you are using this camera component. Now over here, we are using a very important hook, which is use camera devices hook. What does, uh, what does this hook do? So basically, it, uh, to, it gets the camera device, like what is available. I'll show that in the demo later. Next is camera devices. Like what are camera devices? They're nothing but the physical or virtual devices that can be used to record videos or capture photos. So over here, uh, we are using get available camera devices function. That uh, you can go through over here, like which ca use camera devices, which one you want over here. There's, there's a lot of documentation part, which is useful. Life cycle part. What does this life cycle mean? So over here, we are using is active property, which I told you where it takes whether uh, the app is active or not, like basically foreground or running in background. So over here, if you, it uh, like you can see, for example, you want to pause the camera when the user navigates to another page or minimizes the app, since otherwise the camera continues to run in the background without the user seeing it, causing significant battery rain. So over here, React Native Vision Camera is getting a good feature, which is uh, helping in the uh, lessening of battery rain. So you can see over here, we have taken the we have taken the is app foreground and we are uh, giving it as in act, inactive, sorry, is active. Let's now come to the camera formats. So what are camera formats? Like each camera device provides a number of capture formats to have different specifications. These are formats specifically designed for high resolution photo capture, which have very high photo output quality, but in uh, return, it only supports frame rates of up to 30 FPS. So it has a few limitation too. On the other side, there might be formats that are designed for slow motion video uh, capture, which have frame rates up to 240 FPS. So if, uh, if you don't have a format, like if you don't want to choose a format, default, it will choose a medium uh, preset, like you can see over here. Then later, let's come to taking photos slash re uh, recording videos. So in this, you have uh, 
two options for photo as well as a video. Like you have to just pass whether you want the photo to be true or false. So it will take accordingly. In recording videos, like you have to uh, give video as true and audio true if if that that is an optional. And then you have to start like uh, you have to just use start recording function. Then uh, let's come to frame processors now. So what are frame processors? Frame processes are nothing but functions uh, that are written in JavaScript or TypeScript. So what does this do is uh, it is used to uh, process the frames that the camera sees. So over here you can see, for example, whichever object you are displaying or showing, it will detect that object and it will label it. So you can see over here vehicle, roof, plant, then flower pot. So over here it is uh, beneficial for uh, AI which is uh, facial recognition, then object recognition, so that, uh, then QR codes, the, the, it's, it's a lot useful. Then let's come to the zooming in part. Like uh, if you want to zoom in, there's this one feature which will let you zoom in, that is uh, enable zoom gesture. So over here you have to just give uh, the uh, reanimated camera and then the touchable opacity to see where you're zooming in. Then there is min zoom, max zoom, and the neutral zoom. Then focusing, it's like uh, when you are clicking a picture, like you want one part of the photo uh, to be focused. So when you click on it or pinch to zoom, over there, that part gets focused. Over here, it will take x and y coordinates to see which exact uh, coordinate to be focused. Now let's go to the coding part. So what we have done over here is, uh, yeah, we have taken camera and uh, camera component, we have uh, imported it, and then we have taken a hook which is use camera devices from the React Native Vision camera. So once you do this and you give this uh, states, and you see over here, const devices equal to use camera devices. Over here, if I see, you, you are getting an, a lot of options of the lenses which is available. So over here, I've connected the Android Studio to Pixel, Phone over here, I'm getting dual camera, dual wide camera, then telephoto camera, triple camera, ultra wide uh, angle camera, wide angle camera. So whichever lenses is available in your phone will be displayed over here using this hook. So what we do is uh, later is uh, we take the camera component and then we uh, ask for the permissions for the camera access of your phone and then just run it. Let's just see a small demo video. So over here, I've just created a simple UI, and when I click on camera, it is asking for permissions. It's requesting for the permissions. I've clicked a picture without flash, and you can see over here that the uh, that I'm logging the photo details on the console. Now let me take a picture with the flash, and again, I'm logging the photo details. Now let's flip from the back camera to the front camera. So yeah, if I just click on the uh, picture, the details are being logged on the console. So this is a small demo. Okay, let's now come to the conclusion part. In summary, React Native Camera is primarily used for taking photos and videos with the device camera. But whereas React Native Vision Camera is used for analyzing and interpreting images and videos. So overall, React Native Vision Camera provides a lot more features which supports today's advancements in technologies and our mobile phones. So let's just discover this more. Thank you so much.